all right welcome back to another video everybody um first off i totally forgot to end our giveaway from last week um so it's gonna end this weekend i think it was supposed to end you know the seven days was like wednesday thursday tuesday i honestly don't know it's been so hectic um also excuse my heavy breathing i'm having a hard time breathing but that's just how it is up here um <clears throat> so the giveaway i'll definitely wrap that sparrows reload kit so if you would still like a chance you can still comment on this video sparrows reload kit i don't have it to show it i'll do a video when it comes in probably beginning of next week um i'll announce the winner probably this weekend if not the beginning of next week and then we'll try and continue start fresh with the weekly giveaways and make sure they start and end on time um regardless if it gets screwed up a day or two here and there um i'll, I'll uh, my plan is from now on you know with the support of you guys and as long as we continue to grow i want to continue to help give back um to the community so I'll, I'll always make sure i do giveaways so um it may like like i said it may or may not be seven days that you know something may happen like this past week where i just got so sidetracked so um all it does was will it, it will just extend the current giveaway a couple of days that's all so like i said the link will be in the description box if you want to check out the Sparrows Reload Kit if you don't know what it is. And then you can decide for yourself if you would like to enter. You just got to be subscribed and comment down below in the comments Sparrows Reload Kit and I'll reply back telling you that I have you added. So on to today's video. Um, By the way, I got that M heart that I was telling you guys about that Corbin finally came in. Um, hopefully we'll be able to do a video um soon on this but it's gonna pick like a medco and i'll explain why this is no longer made just in case you don't know but um yeah kind of excited all right so what i have for us today um i actually want to you know I, I always like to find different companies in case you're new um or just random locks you know whether it's a well-known company or some third party, even if it's a Chinese company, if it's a lock I have not picked. Um, I like to find different mortise, rim cylinders, or pad locks, and, you know, see what's in them. You never know. I've found some crazy things in some of these cheap, cheapo oddball locks that turned out to be awesome finds. Sometimes I'll pay $40, $50 for a brand name um, mortise cylinder, <clears throat> like the Baldwin. It was an interesting cylinder. It had seven holes. In the in the Bible, the core only had six. It was only pinned up with five. The bidding was amazing, but there were no security pins. But the the other features that I had mentioned already, kind of you know, kind of made it worth its price because it gave me some ideas. But um, I'm saying all this because Arrow is a is another company that I've I've seen out there besides Falcon, Wiser, you know, ones that I never really got around to. And I had ordered this when I was living in Virginia. Finally found one on, on eBay for about 19 18 some something bucks like that. Brand new with keys. Um, went to go make the video and the lock just totally locked up. Um, I don't, that's why there's nothing in it. Um, and that's why I never did a video on it when I went to put the key in it. Um, after trying to, you know, just playing around with it, you know is how I broke it I guess but I was just putting the key in and out and turning it and opening it and closing it and all of a sudden the pins locked up or something because I was not able to get this cylinder open anymore you know by turning the 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 key so I stripped it out and couldn't figure out what the problem was and when I went to put the lock back together um, I noticed that the key pins may have been wrong so I might have they may have pinned it up wrong and you know sometimes if if it's not the right pin if you just kind of lift up it may be just one pin that's just a, a hair too small and sometimes if you just lift up just enough it'll it'll raise that key pin high enough to you know make the the driver pin go above the shear line and you know it's, it doesn't work real good but sometimes it, it will work I, I don't know what else to say so needless to say said next time I find an error I'll just buy another one and start from scratch son of a bitch if I didn't try to make this video last night and the same fucking thing I found this one brand new came in a box two keys it was only 10 bucks or something plus three bucks shipping um, it was very cheap the guy had at least 10 of them I was like cool you know there there's something about arrow that that's drawing me to it um, hopefully it's a good lock six pins um, 
And sure enough, it, it jammed up on me. I literally had to do the same thing, strip it apart. And um, instead of trying to slide a piece of metal uh, or a shim back up in there like I've done in the past, I just went ahead and um, kind of essentially turned it into a practice lock, if, if you want to say that. But I just did that. That way I can keep my, um, my pins and my springs in there and not have to worry. So unfortunately, I already do know what's in this lock. But I still want to make a video. I'm not going to ruin any su surprises. We'll see what's in it when we gut it. If we can get it picked. It was a very miserable lock to get picked. And I don't know why. And I don't want to say anything. Because I don't want to give anything away. But when we get it gutted. I'll explain why. <clears throat> um, but yeah. So I just had to go ahead and put socket screws on the top. Just to keep all my parts together. Which I've had to do that on several locks. Two different multi-locks. You know. <laughs> so it's not a bad thing um but the lock does work right now it hasn't jammed up don't know don't know what that problem was came in a nice little box um some parts nothing major some collars and stuff like that um so arrow is obviously well probably not obviously but it is one of the the many 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 different lock companies um who are now with uh, Asset Alboy. They pretty much own. Them. It, it's crazy who they own. It, it's just a monopoly in the lock world. But nonetheless, um, the keyway is a little tore from my top of the keyway tension wrench. I was getting really mad the other day before I ended up fixing this thing. But it's almost similar to a quick set style. And I say that because of the openness and the squareness. Um, so you definitely have room to get your your tool in there. Um, the the uh, excuse me the key um, is a six pin key. Um, just says arrow on it. The bidding is not crazy. It's not great. It's not terrible. Um, you do have one cut, two, three, four, five, and then six right here. So one, two, three, four five and then cut to number six pin number six so let's go ahead and see if we can't get this bad boy opened um show you that it does work keys in core turns so we're good to go hopefully we can even get this thing picked um it definitely has been a pain the last couple days um just when I was messing around with it when I went to make that video yesterday definitely took me a couple of tries this lock was definitely a pain to get picked so we'll see how it does for us tonight okay go ahead and get our second camera view so yeah Sparrow's reload kit sorry guys didn't forget about you um, that we've still got time to enter um, like I said if you have any ideas for future giveaways um, just leave them in the comments below or you can send me an email which quite a few of you have chosen that route alright let's see so I am going to use my 50 thousandths top of the keyway tension wrench and I am going to apply like medium pressure on this thing um I feel like that's gonna help me the most and I am going to use my um offset diamond from Peterson um it's like a diamond almost on a little bit of a hook type tip this one is bent this is what it looks like when it's not bent so it's a very nice pick to work with um it's really good for getting up into some of them higher cuts in a lock, but <clears throat> all right, here we go. So just going through the lock, feeling for bonding pins. I start in the back, work my way to the front. Once I get to the front, I'll start working my way to the back.
Okay, I reset it. Definitely had a couple of pins set. Maybe they were overset, but like I said, this lock I don't I don't know why. Um it just fights me so much. Unbelievable. This lock is such a pain. So I'm going to switch up and go to my hook number four. Um, definitely another good pick for high cuts. And oh, there we go. Okay. Um, so I wasn't quite, I thought I had reset, but there's no way. I, I guess I didn't fully let go of my tension wrench. Um, whatever i'll take it like i said this lock is a pain in the ass and i'll tell you why here now <laughs> but that's why i had my hook number four out i actually had two of each of them out um because some are in better shape than others here is my hook number four like i was trying to say i know that it's really popular <clears throat> for pickers who try and um pick the european style locks with the um you know they got the restricted keyways so you can get this in a thinner thickness like 15 thousandths 18 thousandths of an inch and um the the hook number four they say i believe the number four and number five on peterson's website if i'm not mistaken say that they're really good for um um the higher you know high high cut pins so trying to get up and especially in the back of a cylinder trying to reach for a high cut pin in the back can be a pain um i find this to help me even when i don't have high cut pins sometimes on locks like this it helps really um really what's the word i'm looking for it really defines where i'm putting my tip and i can really feel the feedback and it kind of traps the the bound pin personally for me i feel like i can always feel it get trapped when i'm pulling back to see if i have any any bound pins and it it really gives me good notification that hey something's something's really tight right here you might want to check this out um and then the other one that i had two of which they're a little bent they don't stay in place for me really well um is the offset diamond which is just like a hook diamond um also it does a really good job of um the the same same two things getting in the high cuts and then also when you're pulling back um bound pins like to get caught on that that diamond tip so anyway let's see what we got kind of wanted to give you that quick rundown definitely a hard lock six pins um it's not the hardest lock in the world obviously but it definitely definitely likes to put up a fight so we have it unlocked still now we may have to lock it up because this fucking clip on the back so let's see I hope my boy Fred Fred Flintstoner's tool comes in handy because it's been ah shit oh look at that even on these these are always some of the most challenging c clips e clips i don't care what kind of clip they are but when companies make them and they're really thick like this i mean they are usually on on there especially on rim cylinders which i believe this is this is a rim cylinder not a mortise cylinder um so yeah did not think that was going to come off that easy so if i'm not mistaken my lock is still in the unlocked position yes it is still unlocked all right let's go ahead and show you what's in here 
and why I I think I feel that this is hard to pick. I I didn't get to pick the other one in Virginia because it broke on me like literally the first day. And do we not have a good shim? Let me get a good shim out. I'm sorry, guys. God, I need to order more springs, more shims, and I'm going to be doing a video on that, um, where to get all your parts and shit real soon, for really cheap, um, my purchase will probably be expensive, um, brand new shim, like to do that, because, on the back of some of these locks, all the, all the cores are different, but you got this big gap right here from where your your tailpiece was sitting in and even if the tailpiece was still in there it still would be a problem because even with a plug follower and I've explained this in other videos but you know as soon as I start pushing it there the pins are going to be able to fall down into that gap and then it will screw everything up and then I'll start pushing springs out and they're going to start getting bent and stretched so that's why I wanted a um, shim. That way I could kind of block that little quarter inch gap. If I can get this in here. There it goes. But yeah, um, I'll do a video on where I get my shims and all my pins and springs. And everything's really cheap. And eBay, some, some dealers, sellers on there have some good prices others do not um but that, that like i said that'll be another video okay let's go ahead and finish this up get you guys unzoomed and okay so we have a six pin core with all six pins in the all six key pins in installed already in the core like I said it was a six pin lock it should be regular Schlage style pins um maybe not obviously Schlage brand but I say Schlage style because they're flat where the driver pin rests on top unlike quick set which are you know rounded on both ends So yeah, looking at looking at the key pins, nothing crazy. Um, spot two is a little littler than the rest of them, and then same with spot four. Um, so key pin one, three, five, and six are almost identical. Um, and then you had two little, um, two lower or higher cuts in there. Um, nothing, nothing major. So let's see what is up top. Okay, driver pin 1 is a regular driver pin. Driver pin 2 also is a regular driver pin. Get those two springs out. Driver pin 3 also a regular driver pin. Driver pin 4 is also regular. Do we see where this is going yet? So far, my first four driver pins are regular. Five is also a regular driver pin. And so is six. So, I kept saying that this thing was such a pain in the ass to pick. Now, why did I say that? Well, personally, um, and I'll wrap this video up. Um, this is a, a standard lock. Six pins, nothing major, no radical bidding um, on the key, no security pins. So why did I? Why do I personally think this particular arrow was a hard pick? Um, because typically, when there's not security pins, this is from my own experience. I usually have to put 
medium to heavy tension depending on the, the specific make model everything you know and all that good stuff of a lock um but as long as they're regular pins usually a little heavier tension to get gets the pins to bind great for me um security pins i said this in my video i'm um, on how to pick spools but typically with any type of security pin lighter tension um maybe medium tension and very 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 rare cases at least for me I've ever had to apply heavy tension unless, again, something specific to that lock requires it. Um, but no matter what I did tension-wise, like when I got this thing opened, I almost, it, it happened to me just now picking it because like I said, I had this video made the other day, but that's why I had to put the set screws in because it all got ruined. Um, but um, I forget what I was saying. Oh. Um, why why it was so hard is because I kept putting heavy tension on and it even happened when I was just picking out it almost looked like it was giving me counter rotation and I never went into a full set um, no matter what degree of, of tension I applied to this lock light medium hard it was still um, you know still giving me problems and I, I kept feeling I kept feeling different feedback which kept giving me false impressions that I was setting pins um, and I think what was happening is now that I look at the key pins is I think I was definitely over setting because I definitely had picked six pins and still no lock opened um, but for some reason I don't know if the tolerances are made a little bit better in an arrow lock um, don't know too much about them but for some reason this was just a pain normally this would be golden and you'll have that yeah the the more you progress as a picker you'll see that um sometimes you know i i have quite a few locks um that i call my trouble locks that i can't get open that i have still not gotten open and some of them i mean i've got them to see what's inside them you know um some of them are just standard locks like this and it's like well what am i doing wrong so sometimes the tolerances and there's so many factors that that can make or break a you know situation as to why we can or cannot get it picked but anyway i don't know just really thought it was interesting that all all regular pins and i still had that much trouble now it did not take me nearly as long this video to get it picked um when i tried to make the the, the video the, last night it definitely took probably a good 10 minutes before um i got it opened and then also i think Part of the problem, like I said, this is not the first Duro this happened to me on. This is the second. These are the only two I've ever bought from different sellers, different people. Um, and they they do not seem to be made very well. Um, don't know why. That's just my personal opinion. And, you know, after having it happen twice now, I definitely am sticking to that. So, I, I don't know what really played into it. But, yeah. Definitely, if you're a newer, newer picker, maybe... You're just starting to get the skills, you know, you're starting to get more skilled, I should say, um, and you're looking for a challenge. This is not a bad lock. If you're, you know, picking more higher security locks, and yeah, unless you want to add some security pins to this, then it may, may not be worth your time. But I truly believe no matter what your skill level is, you should always pick a lock, even if it's something you, you know, you probably can pick. If you haven't picked it before, I definitely believe you should. But yeah, on that note, um, definitely makes a good lock, especially for beginner. It'll really teach you um, dealing with six pins, and especially if you can find better bidding. And then the keyway is not too, too restricted. It's not bad. It's kind of squared like the quick set. Um, definitely would be a good lock for once, you, once you get the concept of picking locks down, and then this would be a good lock, I think, to practice on also so anyway that's just my two cents on this hope you guys enjoy the video go ahead and still enter in for that sparrows reload kit and i'll let you know what's going on sometime with a follow-up video this weekend of either who won or when i'll announce it so if it doesn't happen this weekend it'll probably be the beginning of next week um because i want to get the next giveaway going and this giveaway item should be here in the in the mail beginning of next week so anyway thanks for watching guys thank you for all the support we're over 130 subscribers um you guys are great um any questions just you know shoot me an email i don't know all right guys i'll see you in the next video my email is in the description in case in case you were wondering you know all right guys i'll see you next time